Okay, uh, this week we're going to be talking about the Helleborus. Um, as you know, the Helleborus is one of the very first perennials that blooms during the um, early spring season. Uh, we will, I do have this crop in spring right now, but once the temperatures are around the, say, in the uh, 38 degrees when it comes to night temperatures, uh, we will be moving them directly into current. Okay, uh, the very first Helleborus I got up here is the Merlin. Uh, it is a uh, zone five or zone nine. It would get 10 inches to 12 inches in height and 15 inches in width. This variety is more of a light pink to a light rose. Uh, it is a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be nice, but well drained soil. Uh, and it will tolerate drought once established. Uh, bloom time for these varieties is usually from um, the uh, late winter to very early spring. Um, this variety is considered to be. Uh, Deer resistant. Uh, it is a dark green, a dark green with uh, blue green foliage. Uh, it's good for beds, borders, containers, and cut flowers. Uh, uh, large single flowers bloom and early, long, and outward facing flowers. Okay, Dave, we're going to go backwards. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I started the two. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, now, uh, the, the last four uh, varieties that were maybe, uh, let's see. The last, these five varieties of uh, hellebores I'm showing you right now, they will bloom uh, within the early uh, winter. Uh, the very first varieties I'm going to be showing you later on is on this in this um, slide is uh, the Frost Kiss series, which Frost Kiss blooms a little like later. All right. Now, like I said, now this one is the hellebores ivory prints. Uh, it is a zone three to zone eight. It will also get 12 inches to 18 inches in height, as 18 to 24 inches in width. This one is more of a creamy white, it's a light pink flower. Uh, and it's a 19 centimeter, grow it in 19 centimeter pot. Uh, it likes to be a medium, well-drained soil, uh, keeps roots. Uh, it, it is recommended to keep the roots cool in the summer. Uh, uh, bloom time for this is early spring, uh, mid spring, and almost into the late winter. Um, uh, attractive to dark, attractive uh, dark green foliage with a silver vein, which remains compact as it matures. Uh, a beautiful ivory blossom, which takes on a light pale rose as it age. Uh, next picture, please. Now, this is one of our two, uh, one of two uh, varieties of whites we have. This is the Helleborus Ice Rose White. Uh, it is a zone five. It would get 13 to 24 inches in height as 24 inches in width. Now, this one is a pure uh, icy white flower. Uh, um, it, it, we grow this in a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be in uh, well drained soil. Uh, plant mostly this, it, it does well to full sun to part shade uh, as a drought tolerant uh, once it's established. Uh, a very vigorous with large foliage and abundant of white flowers will turn greenish as it fades. The other variety of white is the same way, but this one is more of a bright white, but it will fade to a more of a light green as the flower matures. Uh, it's very vigorous and easy to care for. Uh, excellent choice for planting in baskets and your interest way. Next picture, please. Uh, this is one of my favorite varieties right here. This is the Helleborus Ice and Rose Red. Uh, this is a zone five, a zone nine. It will get 15 inches in height to 12 to 15 inches in width. Uh, now this one is a very beautiful ruby red flower to it. Uh, it's also in a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be, be in well-drained soil. Um, it blooms in late winter and early spring. Uh, now, this one is an outward facing deep red flower. Uh, it is considered to be deer resistant. And um, its evergreen foliage is a dark, glossy green. And this is a, this variety is boasting with more blooms than the other hellebores. So it is, this one is known to be have more flowers to it compared to some of the other ones. Uh, but like I said, when it says, when, what do you mean by uh, outward? Uh, it's just that more once the flower comes out, the plant, the the flower doesn't aim towards the sky. It towards, aims towards you like you're just looking directly at you, So, which is a nice thing for this. Uh, go ahead to the next picture, please. OK, now this is one of the uh, uh, first variety of the uh, frost kiss we have. Uh, this one is the uh, Pippa's Purple. Um, it is a rose pink burgundy with speckles. Uh, it's also in a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be a moist but well-drained soil. Uh, it is considered to be uh, critter resistant, deer resistant. 
And like all other uh, frost kids, Helleborus, the evergreen foliage is very attractive year round. Um, it blooms later than Helleborus in April to uh, from February to April, merging from the last of winter. Uh, these large purple pink speckled flowers are, are, are a sight to behold. Now, the thing about the Frost Care series, most of the, the, the first couple of Herald Borders I, so, I showed you, they will bloom early. As soon as like right after winter is almost or, over. But this next um, series of Frost Kids, they bloom later. So it's, it's a good thing you're having both varieties in your, um, your landscape. That way you'll always have some type of Herald Borders that's blooming. Um, so, but like I said, also great thing about tractors is this, is that once they lose a flower, the Frost Kiss various, uh, series also have these different colors of variegated leaf. While you see this one is more of a beautiful yellow uh, frost in the center. So you got beautiful foliage, also uh, a, a, more of a late bloomer when it comes to olivores, and you also got some different um, wide, wide range of colors to, uh, to select from. Uh, go ahead, go to the next picture, please. Now, this one is the Dorothy, uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is the Frost uh, Moon Dance. Uh, it is another white. This one is more of a crispy white. Uh, it's also a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be a moist but well drained soil. Also, it dries good because it's also uh, critter resistant, deer resistant. And like I said, for for the rest of them, the same similarities for Frost Kiss, late, late bloomers, which is good. That way you have some always continuous blooms uh, for Helleborus during the. Uh, Early uh, spring and late winter uh, blooms. Uh, the see uh, can uh, can take can, can take the full sun um, if the climate is, is if you in the climate it has very mild summer. So I have to keep that in mind, um, and you have to also keep the roots uh, nice and cool for this. Uh, most of the uh, hellebores aren't recommended to be planted into direct sun, but certain varieties for frost kids can handle it. But it depends upon the climate for summer. Though. Next picture, please. Okay, now this is the Hell of Dorothy Dawn. Um, it is also a zone five to zone eight. You will go get 14 inches in height, that's 14 inches in width. Now this one has the beautiful pink shades to it. Uh, it's also in a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be a moist but well-drained soil. Uh, thrives in partial to full shade. Uh, which this one, uh, please pay attention to that because some don't do very well in direct sun. Um, like, uh, like I said, blooms later than other Hell from February to April, large pink, uh, Forward facing blooms are held above with richy colored silvery green foliage. Next picture, please. All right, and the, uh, this one is called the Frost Kiss and it's red. Uh, this is zone four to zone nine. Uh, it will get, get 12, it will get 12 to 15 inches in height to 16 to uh, 20 inches in width. It is a deep burgundy flower. Uh, it's a 19, we grow this in a 19 centimeter pot. It likes to be a moist but well drained soil. Uh, it is, it is uh, recommended for uh, light pruning um, needed. It's expected to clean um, off damaged green foliage in the spring. Uh, and also, once again, uh, frost kiss blooms later in the season. Great alternate for when you lose your flowers uh, for good variegated relief. Uh, it's a single bloom of deep burgundy red are held on the red stem and a contrast with nicely with uh, evergreen foliage. Next picture, please, or is that it? No, that's it. Okay, uh, we do have these, like I said, they are all in spring right now, but once nighttime temperatures are at the, uh, at the average of 38, we will definitely move these directly into current. Jeff will, once the season workers get back, usually around the mid of next month, he will start moving these into the cooler to slow them down. Uh, like I said, Helleborus is the only variety I have that's just like, you can, I got some pictures where just, there's snow on them, and it's incredible because this variety will bloom during the wintertime. So, uh, but like I said, uh, when, keep in mind, 38 degrees, nighttime temperature, then we'll move into current. And that, I believe that's all I have for you, Lee.